may look like grade B science fiction, but this 50-year-old film was made to lay out the facts on ulcers. Those stomach pains that you talk about, the gnawing, the burning, those are obvious symptoms of gastric ulcer. Back then, contracting a stomach ulcer was thought to be as much of an emotional ailment as a physical one. You've stooped yourself into a duodenal ulcer. Every little upset pumps more hydrochloric acid into the stomach to eat holes in the lining. But there are holes in this film's plot. Turns out the villain here wasn't stress, but something else discovered by two Australian scientists in the 1980s. Well, the big glaring thing missing from that was, of course, H. pylori, and these small curved bacteria in the stomachs of ulcer patients. Although people didn't actually realize it or even believe it at the time, that turned out to be a huge... Uh, breakthrough. With support from the National Science Foundation, Boston University biophysicist Jonathan Chelly and Rama Bansil have been studying the real culprit of ulcers, H. pylori bacteria. These bacteria are resilient to the acidic world of the human stomach because they're able to neutralize the acid around them. The stomach is lined with a mucosal gel to protect it from the acid. Without that gel, your stomach would digest itself. And H. pylori uh, is faced with the challenge of having to move through this gel so that it can attach to the lining of the stomach. What they found was the same process that protects H. pylori from stomach acid also turns the gel lining into a liquid solution and the bacteria can swim on through. If you know the exact physiological conditions under which H. pylori uh, attacks the stomach, then you could work, design drugs, which uh, counteract those conditions. There's nothing too mysterious about it, really. Yes, there is. While H. pylori is found in over half the world's population, far fewer people ever develop ulcers like this. Sequel, anyone? Finding a new doctor sounds like a better answer to me. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.